writing Hola, Child, Good and Child, Oi! We're reading Pedro and the Robot. Oh, make sure you give us five stars. And thanks for listening. Oh, hello, I'm Pedro. And this is my story of how I met Cornelius, my awesome robot. Now, it all started in third grade when we had our poetry reading. Good at reading because I I I I I I I I stutter when I get nervous. But my mom said, "Not something." I can work on growing up and working on that. Well, it was very hard in front of all my classmates when I stuttered, especially the girl of my dreams, Pabla. She's so pretty. She's long, beautiful, dark hair. She reminds me of my mom, Carmen, but we're young. <laughs> yeah. And so everyone laughed at me, especially Simon. Girl, Simon's such a mean boy. He's such a big boy. But my best friend, Bobby, he said, don't worry about what Simon McGruff says. And my teacher, Roger Theopane, said, I can work on my poetry and come back and read it. He said, don't worry, a lot of people get nervous as speakers. And that's why we work on our art to work on our stuff that we need to improve on. Because we're kids and we can always learn. And when we grow up, whatever we work on, we can improve. So, Eopins reminds me of my grandma Carmen. When I went home, she said, Pedro, why are you crying? Why are you crying? And I said, Well, uh, 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 I started in front of uh, 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 my classmates. And she said, Don't worry, you are going to be. You practice, practice, practice. And one day you grow up to be fabulous TikTok star or Instagram star or inventor or oh. You make a startup in an app for me. Um, something like that. You make me proud. And my grandpa Santiago said, Your grandma is wise. Listen to her. And he said, You know what? When I was a little boy, I too stuttered in front of my classmates. And I said, What? I suspected <laughs> that he just said that to make me feel better. Because my grandpa Santiago is a general so when he was in the military and he became a big chairman of a big shoe factory oh so i always have a mush so i said thank you santiago and Gilderman. and my mom francesco come in and said i make delicious tacos for everybody and a fabulous cherry pie come we all celebrate my dad luca said Son, one day you'll grow up to be a great orator. You go, what's an orator? A speaker. And I was like, well, I want to be a superhero. So we all ate a delicious meal. And the next day, my, my mom, Carmen, said, we're going to go shopping. I want you to come with me. So we went shopping, and she bought me a new shirt for school. And then we went to a thrift store. And I looked around, and I looked around, and I saw this big, of metal and it kind of looked like a broken robot. I said, Mom, can I have this? I think I'd like to work on this. Maybe I'll grow up to be an inventor. And my mom, Carmen, was so excited that I had an interest in something. So she bought this big old heap of robots and I took it home and started working on it. Clang, clang, bang, bang. Clang, clang, bang, bang. Clang, clang, bang, bang. Clang, clang, bang, bang. All day long, I hammered and I screwed and I worked on this robot. And my grandpa comes up, what's all this racket? What is all this racket? And, uh, and then I just suddenly heard something go beep, 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 beep. Yeah. The robot woke up. Hey, I think you fixed it. Pedro, great job, son. Maybe you become big inventor like your Carmen, your grandma. Carmen wants you to be. Oh, uh, thanks, Grandpa Santiago. So the robot woke up. 
Nice to meet you, San Diego and Hey, I'm Tom, and I know their names. Of course, I am Cornelius, and I know all kinds of things. Thank you for fixing me. I was really, really rusty on that, and and I really appreciate all that nice oil lubricant you put on me. Thanks to your your grandpa's suggestion. I hope so my grandpa suggested that we put oil on you. Oh, thing said Cornelius. I know I should have done my new best friend. So, so that day, I was just so excited. I got all my things to my dad. Look up. Let's go get them to my dad. Hey, Dad, look what I got. So, so you work on your robot. Yeah, he's so cool. He's the coolest robot in the whole wide world. Yeah, he is. Take them out, swing and stuff. And take them outside, walk them around. So, yeah, Dad, thanks. And so, just as I'm going, my cat Ripple and the, my dog Pancakes were running around. And the robot said, "Hey, the dog is saying, catch me if you can." And my cat Ripple was taunting the dog. <laughs> and said, oh, if you catch me, I'll scratch your eyes out. And the dog said, I'll eat you for lunch. And the cat said, you know what? I sprinkled hot pepper on your food. And my dog Pancake said, you know, that made me cough all day. And Pancake said, eh, that's what you get for chasing me. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. My robot eats thoughts. Hey, Cornelius, just a gift I have. I can read thoughts. Can you read anybody's thoughts? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun. And I can't believe my cat Ripples put hot pepper in the dog's food. What a bad cat. Oh, my mom, Kermit, Francesca was so worried about her favorite dog. But Carmen was like protecting her favorite cat Ripples. Oh gosh. So, Anyhow, hey, I have to do schoolwork. Do I have to do that before I go play? Well, let's do some, some mathematics before you go play, because I know you want to go play. But study and learning is great. So let me see if you pass. What's two plus five? Seven. What's two plus six? Um, eight. Two plus seven? Um, oh, oh that's nine. And four plus five? Uh, nine. And a four plus six. Ten. Okay, great. And you know your ABC. Oh, gosh. I learned them last year. Years ago. So, can I take you to school? Um, sure. You can take me to school. And that will be fun. I want you to meet Bobby, my best friend in class. He's awesome. Yeah. So, I will take you to class for our science project. Yeah, that will be really fun. So, the next day, I took Cornelius, my robot, to school, and everyone was looking at me. Oh, hey, Bobby said, what's that? That's a cool looking, looking thing. What is it? Oh, it's my robot named Cornelius. I worked on it all day long. He's really, really cool. Yeah. Hey, so who are you going to take to the dances here? Pedro? Oh, 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 I, I, I don't know if I'm going to, oh, oh, the afternoon. Oh, come on, Pedro, we all got to ask someone to the dance. That's just, you know, I asked Maria. You, you asked Maria? Oh, she wants to ask Pablo. What? You want to ask Pablo? I think Simon the Gruff is going to ask her. What? Simon is going to uh, ask Pablo? Pablo to the dance? Look. Let's go over there and say hello to Pablo. Cornelius, come back here, you robot. Don't do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, and there she was, Pablo, the most prettiest girl I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh, hi, Bobby. Hi, Pedro. Uh, um, uh, 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 hi, Pablo. Um, hey. 
Stick your nose out of my business, said Simon. Nick Gruff. Hey, Papa, do you want to go to a dance with me? And suddenly, Cornelius the robot said, Hey, you're wearing three-day-old underwear. Um, what? What? How did you know that? Our laundry machine's broken. I had to wash these by hand. What? You're wearing old underwear? <laughs> and everyone asked Simon, Hey, if anyone finds out about this, I'll see you after class, and I can also make that robot a rusty he's the bucket by pouring tons of water on it. So if anyone says anything, and Simon McGruff walked off with a huff. Wow. Oh, uh, ask her to the dance. Hey, Pedro wants to ask you to the dance. Pedro, you want to ask me to the dance? Um, would you like to go with me, Pablo? Uh, sure, Pedro. Yeah. And you can come with us, said Bobby. I'm taking Maria. <gasps> Maria's my best friend. This is going to be really great. We'll have so much fun. And your robot's so cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cornelius is really cool. And you made him, Pedro? Well, I found him and I worked on him and made him. Wow, you're so smart. You're going to grow up to be a big inventor. Or maybe someone like a Tesla who invents things. Wow, maybe I can. Jeez, wow. This is so cool. Oh, I can't wait to the dance. I can't wait. I'm going to tell my mom. Oh, yes. And everyone can come over to my mom's house. She makes the most delicious enchiladas. Oh, I love that. And I can bring some cupcakes. I, I want to start my own cupcake business one day. I want to be like a Martha Stewart. Yeah, that'll be really fun. Oh, gosh. Hey, this is the best day of school ever. And, oh, yep. So, can't wait to go to the dance. Jeez. So, me and Cornelius went, um, went, went on a big adventure in the woods. And I said, hey, Cornelius, how can you read thoughts? I was programmed by my owner. But then, one day, nobody wanted me to read thoughts anymore because it causes so much disruption when people learn when the truth is being spoken. They can't handle the truth. So, I was discarded. Oh, I see. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll just do it in little doses. Because I don't always have to know your thoughts. Because being a friend is just right. You be a friend with somebody because you just like them. Oh, you're such a wise boy, Cornelius. You're such a... Cornelius said to Pedro. Thanks, Cornelius, said Pedro. I'm so glad you're my new robot. And we're going to have great adventures, Cornelius. Yes, and guess what? Pedro, you're going to grow up to be a huge, big, fantastic inventor. Thanks, Cornelius. You're my new best friend. Even if you are a, a robot, you're welcome. And that's my journey of having fun with Cornelius the Robot. The end. <laughs>